I am standing in a beautiful garden and I am with Nancy and Carol and we are going to be doing some leaf casting today and they're going to give us some real steps on how to do this really well. Now we're going to talk with Carol a little bit later on but right now Nancy I would like to know what would be the first step I would assume it'd be how to choose a leaf and which ones to choose. Exactly. You're going to want something that has very very prominent vein structure. Vein okay. structure and texture on the, of the leaf make for a beautiful casting. Okay. You want something fairly sturdy. So if the leaf is too soft, when you're applying the cement that you'll see later with Carol, it may split. So you want a very, very sturdy leaf. The ones that we have found that work the best are the hosta, sure. hydrangea leaves, redbud leaves. They're some of the ones that you're going to find your best result with. So yeah. now what are the supplies needed? to do this project. Well, what you're going to what we found is works really really well is a um, vinyl concrete patch and it comes in 40 pound bags so it's really doable in terms of going to Home Depot or Lowe's and getting it and carrying it and what I found is if you have a little kit available and then you can have things all the way that you would use from finishing which might be sandpaper, little pliers, um, a brush to brush away the dust we take, if there's a hole in the leaf, we patch it with a little bit of duct tape oh, okay. on the right side of the surface. Carol can show you that later. But then it keeps the cement from coming through. There's just a whole lot of different tools that, that you can utilize once the product is almost finished to either make it smoother or to add stuff to it. And that was one of, one of my questions because you said you didn't want to do a flat surface and then I see this little setup of saucers here and you mentioned mounding. I would think then that that has to be, you have to have a form for the leaf to set on. How, what would you do to do that? Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk about mounding because this is a good point to do that. So if you want to lift up I that will. dirt. And it, it looks <laughs> it like dirt. It is dirt, dirt yeah. <laughs> so the, the thing that we have found is like small nursery boxes work well. You, you want to be able to transport the leaf from one point to sure. another. You want a sturdy box. But what you would do here in is and this and is what is that exactly this is this is just old mulch that I have used actually from last year and I took one of my old mounds apart and what you want because you're going to be slapping that concrete about uh -huh. that hard you want the mound to be equally as hard okay that makes sense. so that it supports the structure sure. of the leaf so if I say gee I want a really deep leaf for a bird bath, then I'd um, just pretend this is all done because we'll show okay. a finished one in a moment. And then you're going to take your So you have plastic. to cover that, don't you? Yeah. Okay. It, you don't have to, but it makes for a nicer leaf. Okay. And it, and it contains everything very well. And then you can see how nicely that leaf fits yep. over the top. All right. Well. But, now that we've got those steps done, now we're going to start and join Carol and look at the next steps in this process. Okay, now I'm here with Carol, and Carol, what would be the next step in this process? Well, now that we have this fabulous mold that is very sturdy and much like the shape of the leaf that we're yeah. going to use, um, I'll decide, you know, sort of get the leaf positioned and make sure the mold is good. I like the leaf that okay. way. So what is the mixture of concrete? How to, what's the way to do that? Well, this is the vinyl patch concrete and I've got one container and that should be enough. Um, the trick is to add the water very slowly Okay. and be sort of conscious of what's going on here. The goal is to have this mix be stiff enough that it will not slide around and sure. we want to be able to control it. So we start in the middle with a wad of concrete and pat hard. So I'm moving toward the edges and I'll never go beyond them because if I go beyond the edge, I won't know where the edge is. Oh, okay. And, um, and that would make it very difficult to take the leaf out, I would think, too. Right, and it wouldn't be um, sturdy there on the edge. If the edges are too thin, they break really easily. So now, is that one basically molded now? Yes, this one is finished. It is ready to sit now for probably 12 hours okay. overnight. And in the morning... Will be the finishing process, right? right? So now, why don't we take a quick break? We'll run inside okay. and look at some of the finished items and what we have to do to complete the project. Great. 
So now we are standing at what we're going to call the finishing room. And what would be the next step we do? We should peel and reveal. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to set this down and let's turn these over. And all we do is peel the leaves off We now. just peel the leaf off and reveal the lovely leaf below. And what you'll see is sometimes they come off in one pull and sometimes it takes a couple. Okay, somehow I, I, I feel like I got the short end of the leaf here. No, you, you <laughs> got the Did best I? leaf. You got the very best leaf. Now, what do I do with this stem that seems to be stuck in here? Pull oh, up. wait, I'm just going to... Pull harder. Oh, look at that. You're, oh, you're look at that. You're a tough guy. Look at that. And these we can just scrape off then? Good work. Yeah. Yeah. We have a dental tool for that. And the, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, very seriously, when you have oh, you a leaf, do. especially rhubarb, because the veins are so deep, what you, a dental pick works absolutely wonderful to just take and pull... All of, All of the little out of the strings beam. out, well, so and, you get a good finished product. And Carol, what other tools then would you use to, to do some finishing work? Well, sometimes the edges are just a little bit rough, yeah. so we use a sanding block and oh. just sand that concrete. And that really is simple, isn't it? Really simple. If there's a um, uh, <clears throat> particularly nasty little piece, you just can just crunch it off with needle nose pliers. And, and then once all of this, this and I'm, there's, I don't see any kind of things put on this like a sealer. You guys don't put sealers on them, do you? No, we don't. Okay. Once in a while, we might paint them yeah. with an acrylic paint, really a uh, light wash. But we like the natural look because it looks beautiful. so beautiful with stone in the garden. Well, I have to say, this has been a delight this morning. We've had a lot of fun making these. And once you see them created and you know you've had a hand in it, it really helps you put a, part of, a whole different part of you into your own garden. For more information on how you can actually get the steps, you can go to gardentime.tv and then start making some of your own leaf castings for your own space. Carol, Nancy, this has been a blast. Thank you Thank both you. so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah.